we're going to be installing our engine and transmission. This is a big step for a lot of guys. Here to my right, we have a Ford Racing Coyote 5 liter coupled to a Tremec TKO 500 transmission. It's important to note that you're going to select your own drivetrain. So depending on whether you want a conventional small block Ford or a modular Ford like the one to my right or even a big block Ford, you're going to need to configure it to meet your individual specifications. Now, since we're running the Coyote, we did need to get the additional alternator kit. And we're also running power steering, so we have a power steering kit bolted on this motor as well. And the clutch, bell housing, and everything to mate the transmission up to the engine. It's recommended that you have a couple extra guys on hand as you need to be able to guide the engine into place and operate the engine crane at the same time. If you don't have access to an engine crane, you can typically rent one from an equipment and tool rental facility. Now today we are going to be installing our Coyote 5.0 and Tremec TKO combination. Small block Ford and big block Ford installations are similar. You want to install your hoist chain to a secure point on the motor and or transmission bolting place. Ideally, you want the chain to be opposite of each other. So if you have one chain on the right rear side of the motor, you need to have the other side of the chain on the left front side of the motor or vice versa. With that in place, line up your engine crane, connect it to the chain, lift the engine carefully off the ground, and start to install the engine into the engine bay. You're going to need to get the transmission to come down at a severe angle in order to get it to clear the transmission cross member. As the transmission begins to slide into the transmission tunnel, you can slowly begin to drop the engine and level the engine out at the same time. Make sure as you're dropping the engine into place that you check the engine constantly so that it's not hitting the frame in any inconspicuous spots. Now once you get the engine in position to start dropping into the motor mounts on the frame, you'll want to get the motor mount with the hole in it to line up first and then drop the engine the rest of the way into the slotted motor mount on the frame. Once the engine is down and sitting on the mounts, use a pry bar to get the motor mount alignment tabs to line up in the holes. Make sure you install the transmission mount or install a jack stand under the transmission to not put strain on the motor mounts. Once you have the motor mount sitting down and the tabs aligned, put the two nuts onto the motor mounts and tighten them down. That done, you're free to remove the engine crane and remove the chains from the engine. 